Hi, today we're going to have some fun painting sunlight shining onto some gorgeous pink woodland flowers. First I'm using a sponge just to cover the canvas with my paint and then I'm coming in with a mop brush, you can use another soft fluffy brush if you have one and I'm softening those colours together. I'm painting some faint and delicate trees in the background, but most of these will be covered with my shrubs and flowers in the foreground. Now I'm coming in with some raw umber to block out my tree trunk. going to add some lovely warm burnt sienna to the tree trunk now and I'm also going to add a little bit of white and yellow to my brown and we'll add in more details of the bark. We can start slowly building up the shrubs and the flowers on the left hand side. If you use a liner brush to mark out where the branches are going to be, it'll make it a little bit easier as you progress with the painting. As you can see, for my leaves, I'm using a medium round brush, but I'm only using the very tip of the brush to get that nice point for the leaf. The brush really is doing all of the work. I've added a little yellow to the brush, as well as my hooker's green, and I'm just letting those two colours blend together on the canvas. The sunlight is going to be shining through the tree branches from the right hand side so we'll keep that side of the leaves a little lighter in colour. Now we can start adding our gorgeous pink flowers. I've added a tiny bit of blue to my brilliant magenta. I've used cobalt blue but you could use cerulean blue or another blue and I'm using this first to mark out the flowers.
then I'm coming in with my brilliant magenta to add some splashes of colour. And finally, I've added some rose pink to the mix to get an even lighter colour, remembering to just put it on the right hand side because that's where the sun will be shining in from. Now I've mixed a light green with hooker's green, cadmium yellow and white and I'm using my liner brush again to start adding some details, some branches and a few small leaves. Next we can start adding our sunlight shining through the tree. I probably slowly build up the paint with lots of thin coats rather than putting it on too thickly to begin with and always let the coats dry in between. I'm putting a little on at a time, smudging it with my finger or you can use a brush to smudge it and just softening it and slowly blending it outwards. You can also add some lovely white highlights on the flowers and the leaves and add a few touches of white here and there to give the effect of light shining downwards. I hope you enjoyed today's video and here are some others that I think you might like to watch next. See you next time.